Welcome back to the weather now as we take a live look outside on this Monday evening and a beautiful sunset there. The perfect way to start your work week. Yes, yeah, not bad. Yeah, be nice if you're a little bit warmer, but who, who's complaining at this point? At least it's not <laughs> snowing, right? Yes, yeah, sure. Plus. Yeah, it looks like this week, slow warm up. By thir Thursday, we're going to be back in the 60s. We've wow. got a little bit of rain here as we close out the work week. So we'll talk more about that. And of course, your weekend forecast. Never too early to talk about the weekend. Here's the latest here for tonight, and again, it's going to be another chilly night. I expect Tuesday really to be the same as today, except we'll have more wind. And the reason for that is a front that's going to be pushing through the area here over the next several hours. That's going to switch the winds back around to the northwest or out of the northwest. They're going to pick up a little bit and then bring some cooler and drier air back into the region here, especially by tomorrow night. Now, more sun in the forecast for Wednesday, 60s back in the forecast for Thursday, and then turning a little wet by late. Friday into Saturday again as we track some more showers here across our area with yet another cold front that's going to be arriving in the region. But take a look at that sunset though; it doesn't get much better than that. As temperatures right now across the area ranging anywhere from the 40s and 50s, depending on your location. Right now, we're looking at readings still holding into the low 50s out at BWI Thurgood Marshall. 46 for Middle River up towards Parkton, 50 degrees, 52 Westminster, 45 right now for Rising Sun. So clear skies expected for this evening. Temperatures falling through the upper 40s and then into the low 40s here by late tonight. Upper 30s when you wake up tomorrow morning. And as I mentioned, tomorrow morning, if you're going to about early, you're going to notice the wind. And even though it'll be warmer temperature wise, it's the wind that's going to make all the difference. So there will be a slight wind chill here for your early Tuesday plans. But again, the front will move through the area tonight. It will be a dry front, so not expecting any precipitation with it. And it looks like we will be staying dry for the foreseeable future. As future cast shows, that skies are going to remain mostly clear. Notice how the arrows turn back out of the northwest in the wake of that front. And we will see some wind gusts tomorrow over 20 miles per hour here across the area. So it's going to be a little breezy here for the first part of your Tuesday. A couple of high clouds for your Wednesday, but overall not looking too bad. Now we turn our attention to Friday into Saturday. We're watching our next storm system. We're going to be watching this coastal area of low pressure. That's going to be tracking up from the south. Most of it looks to stay offshore, but we've got a front that's going to try to move through the area late Friday into Saturday. And the timing of this has been slowing down a little bit. So we may have to move the majority of the rain chances into Saturday as opposed to later Friday. It does look like at this point, Friday is going to be mainly dry. It's going to be the first part of Saturday that we're going to have some showers around. Stay tuned on this because we may make some more adjustments to the timing of this rain as we get towards the early part of the weekend. And then as far as the Ravens game is concerned, it looks like the weather's going to be fine for that. Temperatures into the 60s during the afternoon, so looking good for tailgating, and then falling to around 50 by kickoff, upper 40s throughout the game. First alert, 7 8 forecast. Again, tomorrow 59, down to 33 again for Wednesday morning, and then back up to 58 for Wednesday afternoon. Middle of the week, not looking too bad. We're about where we should be for this time of year, temperature wise. 65 on Thursday, again, looking dry for the game on Thursday, and then those slight chances for showers. Again, we'll be watching the timing later Friday into Saturday. Could be even more into the day Saturday. We'll keep you updated. Yeah, it actually looks pretty good, especially for the yeah. Ravens game. Yeah, yeah it looks bad. really good. All right, Derek, thank you. Mm -hmm. Look,